Maybe winding down, but Denver has a farmer's market that will be open six days a week all year long. Yeah, you think a farmer's market is just a summer mm -hmm. thing, but that's silly. Uh, we've got Lana Otten here to tell us more about what they offer Four Seasons Farmers and Artisans Market in Wheat Ridge. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. In the winter, you guys have a farmer's market. It's indoor. All year round. We're actually the only in the Denver metro wow. area farmer's market that's open six days a week. All year round, and it's obviously changes by the seasons. Absolutely, we are we're moving into major produce coming out now. Yeah. Just beautiful stuff: corn from Pueblo, peaches from the Western Slope. Yeah, Western um, Slope peaches are the best. The best. I, I don't even like peaches that much, but I like the ones from the Western Slope because they're they're just super sweet. They're really really good. Uh, how does is it the same vendors all year round, or do you have different vendors in the winter? We have a variety of vendors, whether it's for food production farms, local farms. The, the market tries to buy Colorado grown as much of the year as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in the winter, that can be a little more challenging. Sure. But the market also has many artisans. Um, mm -hmm. Close to 40 oh, wow. vendors are in the market selling products that they make or create. Besides being open year-round, what do you think it is that sets you apart from the other seasonal farmer's markets? Um, I, I think our schedule is huge. Right. The market is owned by farmers. I like that. Um, Wise Acre Farms in Fort Lupton, and they bring free range eggs and all kinds of mm -hmm. produce as so it's, it's coming on. Absolutely, yeah. it's a community environment. All right, and you, and you have a, a shop there as well at the market, hence the bees you're wearing and the bee. Uh, tell us more about what you sell. I have Ain't Misbehaving, which is all things bees. Nice. And I. Uh, I sell honey, obviously. I have a, I'm partnered with a wonderful beekeeper, Perry Welch, and um, I sell honey created products, which you're eating now. Good. Um, so good. Peach shortbread. So oh. with our peaches and, and what have you, bee art. We actually, my company as well as the market support, raise money for the Bee Cause Project. Mm -hmm. Which is a nonprofit that puts observation hives in schools to teach our kids oh, how cool. important the bees are. And they're marching their way across the country trying to put hives in as many uh, schools so as possible. Important. Raising awareness for our bees. Well, thanks for coming in. If you want to stop by the market, guys, it's on West 38th Avenue in Wheat Ridge, as you mentioned a few times. They're open <laughs> six days a week year round, and tomorrow they host a garlic tasting. The market opens at 9 o'clock in the morning uh, tomorrow, and at uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday, they open at noon, Tuesday through Friday, and they do have, they, off, they accept SNAP payment. They are part of the Double Up Food Bucks program, so lots of cool stuff going on there. Right. Thank and you. I, and a heads up kudo to Dave Vargo, who is the owner of Redlands Fruit, where That's we're where the peaches came getting from. our fruit. He's on the western <laughs> slope stuff. and has beautiful stuff. Awesome. And this time of the year, it's, it's, it's a good time for it the western is. slope. All right, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having 947. me. 947, all right, Brooks, go.